You have got to be kidding me. Scratched already. I might have just wasted a lot of time and money. Yes, I'm wearing my proper painting attire. <laughs> fine tip on that thing and pretty much i took the rule that if i passed over it good five six seven times and it didn't come up it's probably stuck good enough right around here where they have been patching it all that peeled up pretty easy but all these other wide open surface areas they were really stuck and i could not get that to come off i think we're ready for a nice thick coat of that duralux paint it is finally paint day. Did some light prepping yesterday. Did a little bit of grinding where he did some welding in here and then came back across it with sanding. I said the last video, it's just not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna put a ton of time into this boat. I power washed it really good. If it didn't come off with the power washer on five or six good strokes, I went ahead and just left it. It's gonna be good, it's good enough. But it is time to put some paint on. Y'all ready? I'm using a paint product that I have never used before. This is Duralux. It came from Home Depot. This is going to be the dead grass green, which is going to have a real muddy brown kind of look to it. Not a traditional John Boat green. Never used this Duralux marine coating, but it was very well reviewed. So we'll see how it does. I'm going to be using a brush to come in here to the corners. And I've got them some little micro foam rollers. Let's see them. There we go. We're just going to be putting it on one coat. See how it looks. Then come back with a second little bit thicker coat. Plan is to do two coats on the inside, two coats on the outside and the bottom. So we'll stay down here, we'll do that. Then we would move to here. Then we would move to here. This should be a lot of fun. And yes, I'm wearing my proper painting attire, a white t-shirt and a sombrero. And a rotator cuff injury to boot. I'm just having a blast today. Y'all ready to do some painting? Yeah. Let's paint a John boat. Wanna see the color? Yeah. Yeah. Ew, it looks like mud. Exactly right. It'll blend right into the river. Grayish brown. It's called dead grass green. Like I said, this is not going to be perfect for obvious reasons. But to me, the value of having them out here and learning is way more than the perfection of this John boot. And of course, I'm going to go behind them and just start brush stroking some of this stuff out and clean it up a little bit. I'm doing my best. You're doing a good job, buddy. Tucker, you're doing good too. And Hudson, like right here, when you see it right there, use the edge of your roller and come back like that. Edge. Use the edge to get in those tight spots. Yep, you're doing good though. Forward back, forward back. Tucker, there you go. Use all that extra paint right there and just keep pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Get a spot right here we've missed. And the first coat is done. <laughs> Anywhere there's a nice, smooth, clean metal surface, it looks really sharp, like you would expect. Even all the way up here in the front, the front all came out really nice, that first coat. But once you get down the floor where all that resin is, it's just gonna have blemish, and that's fine. But this thing went on good. I only used maybe a quarter of that gallon to do one heavy coat all on the inside and getting that bench done and even got the top rail done in most of the sides. One thing I mentioned, this brand new piece of uh, road sign here that we capped the back of this boat with, he went ahead and deionized it because he needed to do that for welding it. So he went ahead and deionized the whole thing so I could go straight to painting. If the welder had not done that, then you would want to go ahead and deionize this, wipe it all down really good, or lightly scuff it with some sandpaper. And you could, of course, do this with a spray gun. I did look it up, and this Duralux can be sprayed through a paint gun. I just don't have a paint gun. So I'm using a combination of a brush and a roller, and it seems to be going on just fine. 
I actually was dipping it and brushing it, and then I went to where I was just pouring paint and then using the brush just to move it all around, and that actually went a lot quicker. Just flipped it by myself, showing off some muscles here. A little bit better sunlight here. Looks like I need to go a little heavier. I have not done two coats on the outside, and I clearly missed some spots, but I knew that was gonna be the case when I flipped it. These will actually be a lot easier to paint upside down. We're gonna do two heavy coats on the bottom, all this black bottom paint would not come off, so good is going to have to be good enough. Two heavy coats on the bottom, we should be good to go. Voila, first bottom coat paint is done. And it looks pretty good in the smooth areas, anywhere where there's paint chips. It's got that rough kind of look to it. I'm gonna have to re-hit those smooth metal areas definitely a second time. Uh, but this is the bottom, nobody sees it. Just trying to cover it up, make it look uniform. Time will tell if we should have gone with a acrylic bottom coat or not. So to be determined, first coat done. We'll put the second one on in a couple hours. Let that first coat dry for a couple hours and has finished our second coat. And man, if the whole thing had that smooth aluminum like the transom did, it would look really sharp. I think it turned out well for just using a paintbrush and a roller. Did not have a spray gun, but I think it turned out pretty good. Two coats on the side, two coats on the bottom, three coats on the transom, two coats on the inside. So I've got about a quart left over. I'll probably go ahead and hit the inside one more time in a couple of key areas. Next morning, we gave it the night to dry, and that color turned out fantastic. Like I said earlier, it's not a John Boat green, but it's also not a dark brown. I'm just curious as to how durable this paint is really gonna be. I know in past, I've had some of that Parker Duck Boat wanna scrape off. It actually didn't quite adhere as good as Rattle Can, uh, but I wanted a nice, heavy, thick coating on here, and I did not wanna Rattle Can it, so time will tell. Don't know if I'll do any kind of heavy clear coat or not to help keep the scratching from happening. Even if it's a flat clear coat, I really don't know how much of a difference that's going to make when it comes to hitting a rock. So I don't know that I want to spend that time or that money. All said and done, maybe I should have just rattle canned it, but I did want to try this new Duralex paint and see how it turned out. Got the boys involved. I'm happy with the way it looks. Time will tell how durable the paint really is. Next time, thanks for watching. God bless. Take care. Clearly, I was not paying attention yesterday as my three-year-old attempted a heist here. And I'm going to cheat this bench to this side and actually not even bend this tab. 